Our video today starts by looking at one of the two firehouses in Maspeth. This one is engine 291, hook and ladder 140. This firehouse has been in the Maspeth neighborhood since 1915. Our trip today is gonna to take us through Northwest Ridgewood. Due to the coronavirus, I'm not able to get into Manhattan for a few more weeks. So what I will do instead is I will film some local history videos of the areas surrounding where I live. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the local high school, which is just one block away from here, and I will tell you all of the famous people who went to this high school. From there, we will stop by and take a look at the amazing looking St. Aloysius Church, as well as a couple of small items of interest right across the street from the church. And finally in this video, we will end up today at the Van der Ende Onderdonk House, which is the oldest Dutch colonial stone house in New York City, built in 1709. There are likely to be a few other items of interest along the way, so sit back and join me as I take you on a little history tour through Northwest Ridgewood. We start today at the Grover Cleveland High School, named after the former US president of the same name. This high school was built during the Great Depression in 1931, along with six other New York City high schools, in order to save some money during the Great Depression, all seven high schools used the same blueprints for their construction. Their design was based upon Kirby Hall in Gretton, Northamptonshire, in England. Like all, all high schools in New York City, there is a list of famous students who once attended this high school over the years. And I am now going to share with you a partial list of some of the more notable attendees of this school. Rosie Perez, a famous actress known for her roles in Do the Right Thing and White Men Can't Jump. The legendary Bob Shepard, stadium announcer for the New York Yankees and the New York Giants for over 50 years. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Cheryl James, also known as Salt, from the rap group Salt and Pepper. 1950s crooner Julius La Rosa. Jim Gordon, the former television voice of the New York Rangers and radio voice of the New York Giants. And good evening to you, everybody. Jim Gordon, along with Bill Chadwick, the Big Whistle, in Los Angeles, California, for Game 2 of the Stanley Cup playoff round between the Kings and the Rangers. The Rangers fresh off one of the best games they have ever played in a playoff round. L.A. tried to blow them out of the rink last night, and it just plain didn't work. The man who was known as the last Mafia Don, Joe Massino, head of the Bonanno crime family. Also... The underboss of the Bonanno crime family and Messino's brother-in-law, Salvatore Vitale, who would later turn government witness against Messino. These are just some of the famous people who attended Grover Cleveland High School. And who knows, perhaps there are some future stars who are currently students at this school right now.
St Aloysius Church in Ridgewood, Queens. Prior to being known as Ridgewood, this parish was known as Wickoff Heights, and the first mass for this parish took place in a saloon opposite the church in 1892. The original church on this land was completed in 1893, and it was built for Catholic German immigrants. It also served as a girls' school from 1893, and an unknown date many decades later when it became a school for both boys and girls until the early 2000s. The current church was completed in 1917, and it was designed by the architect Francis J. Berlenbach, Jr., who was famous for designing Roman Catholic churches and tenement buildings in Brooklyn. quick pop across the street from the church, we take a look at the landmarked portion of Stockholm Street. I believe that this is the only brick road in Ridgewood. I also want to point out a rather unique fire escape that I noticed that goes up to the roof rather than down to the ground. One assumes because there is no street exit at the rear of the houses. As we move around to the front of the house, you will see the fire escape to the street coming down from this roof.
Our final stop on our trip today is at the historic Van der Ende on the Donk House. The original house was built on this site in 1661 and it is the oldest Dutch colonial stone house in New York City. The current house that we are looking at today was built upon the foundation of the original house in 1709. The house marks the border between Queens and Brooklyn. Indeed, right across the street, you would be in Brooklyn as we look at the house which is located in Queens. The Dutch farmer, Paulus van der Ende, purchased the land from Hendrik Smit, who had been granted the land by the governor of New Amsterdam at the time, Peter Stuyvesant. When the British took over New Amsterdam in 1664 and renamed the area New York, the Smith land was smack bang in the middle of the disputed territory that was claimed by both the Dutch Bush Bushwick settlers and the English Newtown settlers. The dispute started in 1661 and was not resolved until 1769 when the boundaries were marked by Arbitration Rock. And even then, the dispute was not fully resolved until 1880, when state surveyors were sent to verify the point on the old rock made in 1661. Arbitration Rock currently sits on the land of the Underdunk House along the old Brooklyn-Queens boundary lines.